Aloha and good evening from Kilipohe Ike Kani Lehua and Hale Pohaku. Nice Sunday evening. Hadn't rained too much today. The compost pile is still composting away. Someday I hope I'll get to do something with that. Someday soon, I'm thinking, because right now we got two walls up on Hale Pohaku. <clears throat> I took yesterday off and tried to work on my framing nailer which is still inoperable. So thankfully I was able to use Eric's nailer. And yesterday I went and purchased materials for this wall here on the left which has no windows in it. Um, and just bought the materials for that, which was kind of silly because it only took about an hour and a half to put up. I have a time lapse of that, which I'll, I'll show. Didn't have to cut anything, just basically uh, nailed the studs to the plates and put it up. So that was kind of anticlimactic. The second one took uh, considerably longer to put up because of all the little cuts for the, uh, the this window here. The wall on this side is going to have two windows. One 4x4 four four window here and one smaller window here and I'm thinking that's too high. It's good for this one because it's back by the road, but really this window was supposed to be for um, the kitchen and it's really too high. So I should have taken a closer look at the design on that. Well, maybe I'll lower this one down just a little bit. Bring it down maybe a foot and a half or a foot and see. That's all easy to do in SketchUp and then I can update the, the measurements. Um, I printed out little PDF files which have all of the heights for these cuts. Um, those cuts up there, the distances for here, these cuts, all of that is in SketchUp. And then I just printed out little PDF or I printed it out as PDF files and then emailed it to my so all the plans are on my phone. So if I had a printer, I suppose I'd print them out. But there you go, two walls up. Uh, this side is gonna go a little higher, foot and a half. I might have to cut a portion of that um, Ohia tree back because it's kind of interfering with the, uh, the roof line a little bit. But I'll probably, I'll probably just only have maybe one foot overhang between like this um, this rafter and this rafter to keep from interfering with that tree so because it's a nice ohia tree and we didn't want to you know we don't want to take up too much of the space here uh, this is not supposed to be a permanent structure <clears throat> it's only supposed to be for uh, storage and uh, and temporary living space while the the big house is going up, but it should be plenty of space. I'm thinking. Looking forward to it. Put my bed over here. Store all my junk over here. <laughs> Actually, maybe I'll put my put all my junk over here and then put the bed over here since this will have more windows. Or maybe I'll put the bed here since there will be a window here. It's kind of lame right next to this tree and a window here but this would be a nice window to sit next to i have to make sure i get it low enough that i can put the maybe i'll build the bed up high and uh, i'll be able to look out the window into kilipohe okay that's about it i'll talk to you later bye bye